Hey everybody, this is Warren Herman. Sometimes in life we are faced with different kinds of thoughts that can bother us. Maybe we have a fear that a certain person might do something to hurt us. Maybe we have a concern that a situation won't turn out well. And whether we're worried about uh, something we might think, oh, maybe I'm going to sin, maybe I have sinned, whether it's that type of thing inside of us, whether it's something outside of us, our mind goes around and around. We need a way to stop this. So today I'm going to share with you some different principles that I believe are going to be able to bring you to a sense of freedom so you can move forward and not go around the circle, and not be stuck, not be uncomfortable. I want you to be able to find freedom to be in the situation, to do what makes sense, to do, go forward without unnecessary fear, without unnecessary disturbance. Here's how to do it, I think. So, I want you to think about a famous scene in the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope episode. I don't remember what episode it is. Don't beat me up for not knowing what episode. I think it's episode five. No, four. Sorry. Um, in A New Hope, there's a scene where Luke Skywalker has to turn off a targeting computer and use the Force in an epic space battle. And so in this scene, we can find a metaphor for exactly what we have to do in our life of faith. We have to turn off the targeting computer of the carnal mind, this mind of the flesh. We have to say that that's not what we're relying on anymore. And we have to use the force. We have to, um, we have to essentially rely on faith and reason in order to go forward, in order to have peace, in order to make sense in order to have a clear mind. That's what we need to do. I'm not saying that you have to let your guard down and let bad things happen to you. I'm actually saying you'll be more vigilant, more protected, more clear, more practical, more responsive, less burdened, less upset, less needlessly pained. You don't need to let your guard down you just need to change how you're guarding yourself. You just switch from the targeting computer to the force, so to speak. Move from fear, imagination, all this confusion, this hypervigilance, and switch trusting in your capacity for reason as you go through the situation, knowing, okay, if there's something about a person that you need to be aware of, you can figure it out with your actual rational mind you don't need your unconscious mind to be telling you all these horrible things maybe they're going to betray you but isn't that you don't need any of that you don't need these things maybe this will go wrong maybe i'll um maybe i'll um maybe this situation won't work out you don't need it you can figure out whether it's working out with your actual mind you don't need your carnal mind to tell you all these things that keep sounding the alarm bells you have two eyes. You don't need the alarms. You have ears. You don't need the alarms. You don't need the alarm bells in order to see what's going on. That's the shift. Switching what you're using to guard yourself. Realizing you don't need this other part of yourself. There's a scene in The Lord of the Rings, the movie adaptation, where Smeagol, or Golem, he's having an argument with himself and he says to the bad version of himself, so to speak, um, to go away and never come back. And the thing he uses uh, that gives him authority is he realizes that Frodo Baggins is taking care of him now. And he says, Ma that's what Frodo Baggins is his master, so to speak in the, the scene and the story he says, master is ta master takes, looks after us. Now we don't need you. And there's this reality, you know, there's the reality of the fact that, that he didn't need this bad part of himself because master looks after him now is also the same type of principle we're using here. 
we we don't need this part of our mind that's worrying, obsessing, suspicious, whatever it is. We don't need that part of our mind because Master looks after us now. And in our life of faith, obviously, we're relying on Jesus as our Master. So whether you were using the metaphor from Star Wars, turning off the targeting computer using the Force, obviously, we're supposed to use faith and reason, and faith in Jesus also. Obviously, I'm Jesus, our master, if we're using the Smeagol and Goat Lord of the Rings metaphor. But these things show us what to do. We simply realize that we're using a counterproductive or unnecessary defense. We realize that there's this um, needless um, thing going on in our minds and that we have the ability to, to rationally and faithfully go, go through the situation without our mind is on overdrive. And so I think that that is something that's very helpful, that if we simply understand these principles, if we simply realize that we're using an unnecessary alarm system to defend ourselves and realize that we have enough personal and um, personal resources and that God will protect us, we realize we don't need this um this other type of mindset this these nagging thoughts these fearful things this constant vigilance we don't need that type of hyper vigilant uh thinking we don't need any of these these type of other patterns we don't need these things we only need to keep our eyes open and to keep our eyes on Christ we need faith and reason not fear and imagination that's not necessary we we need god and our own mind not this carnal mind that's not helping us at all. So I hope that these distinctions are helpful to you in the spiritual life and that they, they, they point out something very important, that we don't need to have this mind that's always thinking and thinking and thinking. We can just not think about it. We can just kind of not, not worry about it because we know that we're relying on our reason and on God rather than how to figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. Um, and I think the thing is to recognize when you are in, recognize, oh, look, that's the targeting computer talking. Oh, look, that's the bad side of Smeagol talking. Um, recognize these parts of yourself. Recognize the, the part of you that's trying to solve all this stuff. Um, and don't worry about, um, don't worry about this type of, um, functioning um they don't worry about getting rid of this type of function just notice what it's doing and you can overcome these problems and so i hope that this is helpful to you in overcoming these worries turn off the targeting computer and use the force master looks after us now go away and never come back these are the these are the um, these are the quotes from those movies, and they will point you in the right direction of realizing that you can go move forward with faith and reason rather than fearful imaginations. <laughs>